YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. We are inviting some of the hottest producers from the UK. Uh, young guys on the street who are really making it happen in grime and now crossing over into pop. You know, guys that I've known through the grime scene but are now, you know, achieving some commercial success. We have my good friend up in here, Da Vinci. What's up, sir? Welcome to the show, my brother. Welcome along, man. I mean, we first knew about you really from like P's and Q's. Yeah, man. Kano and Brown Eyes. And, yeah, man. And Tinchy Stride just thinking about you, smiled, and then. Mm -hmm. You, you dabbled with the funky with um, Penbury and Charlotte and me. Perempe, Perempe. Perempe, let's get that right, please. <laughs> Something in the air and. It's exactly. Uh, Hero and Ryder yeah, man. with um, uh, Cleo Soul and Rashi and Tiny Temper Tears. I mean, you've got history in the making, kid. Yeah, man, I've been working hard, trust me. Exactly. We've been over to your studio, a studio which comprises of many random speakers. <laughs> I've uh, moved now, you know, Tim. I've moved, man. You? We've upgraded. The spot. The We've, upgraded. Spot. We've upgraded, man. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. then Rude Kid. A Yo. man who's done many hungry grime hits for people like Grimmel and P Money, Badness, Blacks, Jam, a little nasty, a uh, little D. You know, you got yeah, history yeah. there, my brother. I have, man. I'd like to think I have still. And we have Silencer. Could you just open that door and tell him to come in? He's outside. The red light is on. He's not coming in. Silencer. We don't. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, we got. Yes, hi. Oh, we got random people. What's up, kid? Oh, okay, yeah, we've got a lot of people coming in the studio, but not Teddy. All right, then. Uh, Rude Kid, how would you describe your style? Alien. Alien. <laughs> now, is that because you look a little bit like an alien? Oh, what do you or... mean, man? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, He's sorry. trying it, man. No, sorry, I was just... I Tim, that's like, you said. look like Captain Bird's eye, man. Yes, I, uh, I, I'm very proud to be on the good ship Lollipop. <laughs> now, this... <laughs> We are counting down the hot six with Rude Kid and Da Vinci, and we are counting down the hot four with Silencer because my man was late. All right, can we recorrect you there, yeah? Uh, you named Teddy Music. Now, why Silencer from the underground unit are you denying your history? <laughs> no, I'm not denying my history. Why man. are you denying such <laughs> big hits that we used to ring off on Channel U as a smash like Poison? <laughs> where you were, Silencer, Nah, and you not had, si no, and you West West is not silencer no more. It's Teddy Music, man. Teddymusic.co.uk comes okay, to you very so soon. So if I throw to you a silence, you're not going to answer. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, is that, what's that mean? So and, say, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Ghanaian Fire is coming out June the 7th, so make sure you don't go cop that HMV is coming out, man. Uh, by, by silencer? Yeah, no, no, no. Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. Are you sure? You're, you're very, silent? very sure. Okay, so it, I can no longer refer to you as silencer? Nah, Teddy. For everyone that think, that knows about me as silencer, it's changed. Just Scratch changed that, forget it. Yeah, so you've got to just call me Teddy, because let's, let's just keep it moving. Okay, then. Um, the situation is, right, I often get asked... Like, you know, people come up to me on the street, might have seen me from Tim Westwood TV, might have seen me pimping rides. They might have seen me up in the party and they say, yo, Westwood, you know, I make beats, help me. Yeah. What can I say to them? Because I need these annoying people to leave me alone. <laughs> you know, there, <laughs> might be you some, there might be some girls in the party and I am surrounded by young versions of you, hungry. What would you say to these people? You know what, you make an email account, Yes. And you I have, have one of those. Tim Westwood at gmail.com. There's 14,000 MP3s in that. As we yeah, speak. but you know what? You hire someone that just look after that email and just. What? Just <coughs> deletes? Yeah. <laughs> right. No, no, it's, it's, you shouldn't delete them. You should hear them, man. And? You should give everyone a chance. Okay, Tim. and then I hear them and I like them, and then what happens? Then you play them, obviously. Where? Play them, I don't know, your mum's house or something. Exactly, and. Tremendous success for that artist. Uh, da Vinci, have you got anything more sensible to say? Uh, personally, I would. I, I, am I you, by the way? Hold on, it, hold on. Am I you? you? Play around my mum's house and... <laughs> no, you should play it on the radio, you? Tim. You should play it here. See, during the day, 4 till 7, I have sold my soul and I walk off a playlist. I have sold my soul. Wow. Sunday night is gone. <laughs> yeah, they need to just buy a program, a software, and practice and... Yeah, free loops is free, man. Yeah, free loops, number three, no, whatever no, number no, you no, want. number five. <laughs> all right, then, all right, let's leave free loops behind. But, like, say these are guys who are doing the work and they are looking to me to help them. What can I do to help them? Just well, listen to their music, man. Use, use your Pip Your Ride dollars to create yeah, a man. workshop for them <laughs> so that they could be able to practice more and yeah. they're producing if you wanted to help them. Okay, I didn't like any of those ideas. What was the number three record? <laughs> oh my God, who are these guys?
We are playing a brand new instrumental by Rude Kid by the name of Screwdriver. Now, can I just put out there, how do you come about these random names? It's like whatever I see around me, I'll okay. just name it that. Okay, so if you've produced this beat, you shut your eyes, you open your eyes and you see a screwdriver and this is now... No, the I just saw a screwdriver on my desk and then I just called it that. Oh, for real? Yeah, man. Man, so it could be called anything? It could be called anything. Okay, so we are going to look at your album here. So when you entitled the track UFO, what did you see? It was just the music, like the instrument, it just reminded me of Aliens. Why are you smiling, man? Okay, uh, what about when you uh, named the track uh, Winter, Window Cleaner? Window Cleaner, when I was making a beat, there was a window cleaner cleaning the windows. Okay, then uh, Winter? Winter, obviously made it in the winter. Okay, uh, Aftershave? Aftershave, there was Aftershave on my desk and I called it that. Okay, Shark's Back? Shark's Back, that, I made a tune for Sharky Major Okay. that was the instrument. Okay, um, Dentist? Dentist, I came back from the dentist, called it that. Uh, Jack Daniels? I was drinking Jack Daniels, called it that. Uh, my mum? What? Oh, sorry. Sorry, that was just, sorry. sorry, I didn't know what I was saying then. What is your take as grime artists, uh, as well as, you know, producers, on the state of grime at the minute? And do you think it's a little confusing for artists? For whether they want to pursue, uh, you know, the long the lines of like you know number one hits of the likes of Ch you know Chipmunk and uh. Tinchy Stride or you know Wiley and so on, or whether they're going to keep it hardcore. I mean, what is your take on it? Yeah. Um, you know what it is. I think there's space for you to do both, man. As an artist, you kind of want to express yourself through different genres. Mm. You can do the happy ones. Party, mm. hands in the air, then you can go back to the grime and keep it mm. hard. The ones who do the happy ones don't tend to make hot grime records, though, do you think? Oh, I don't know. I no, look at Skepta. Skepta. <laughs> I disagree, I disagree, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Skepta's, no, on, Skepta's found the balance. Yeah. Yeah. But Skepta, Skepta, hasn't, music. Skepta yeah. hasn't really hit their number ones yet. But no, he's, but he's doing well, though. Yeah, but he's doing, he will. Yeah, he will. But he's doing mainstream hardcore music. That's yeah. what he's doing, like, from what I can see. It's like, rescue me, that, rescue me. Yeah, that's that's hardcore. When yeah, you got yeah, dubstep yeah. in it, that's hardcore, man. You're not playing with no sort And to be honest, you can't be, you can't not be happy with his level of success, can you? Yeah, I think I, I, he could be bigger. Nah, Come on, a boy he... better know. <laughs> Come on, too many man. That was a, like a number one pop hit for me. Yeah, it should have. That been. was a tremendous yeah, record. Yeah. Yeah, and that you know didn't hit the scale it should have done. Yeah. No, okay, no. and uh, Da Vinci, what's your plans? Well, um, at the moment we've got my next single's coming out. It's called uh, Meet Me on the Dance Floor. Mm. Rich Thirty Two, Cleo Soul. Mm. Um, I've just given you a copy of that, so that's going to be massive, definitely. Mm. Um, yeah, man, Woman's World. The video just dropped. The track I produced, Sela, Sadie, and Miss Brat. That's going to be huge as well. Yeah, that's a big tune, man. Yeah, thank you, sure. thank you. Um, yeah, man, just I'm just working. We're working on the Cleo album. My album's finished. Now we're just getting into getting it out, kind of thing. Okay, so 2010 looking strong out there. It's looking fire, man. Number one is Da Vinci featuring Cleo Soul Hero. King Westwood TV, you got myself Teddy Music representing for the underground unit. Shouts to St. Luke and Soul to the streets right now. Right now, this is Reed Kid, you're watching Tim Westwood TV. Are you ready? The album out right now. Yo, it's Da Vinci, make sure you're locked in. Too much music coming right now, so make sure you look out for it. Big up. YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV.